So a stability update for the camera. I've got Shoes old GoPro holder. I have the GoPro as well, but I think the battery's died. I've got to have a look at it. Um, so cable ties, iPhone. Now we have steady camera. Morning, folks. Welcome to another episode of Roots Blowers in Detroit. Looking at the camera, it doesn't look right. But anyway, so I've got, as you've seen, I've got some of the stuff on the outside welded up. So today I've got down into the engine room. Welding out a few holes down here. I'll try and get that set up so you can see. And now all you're doing is looking at me. It's hard to tell what's picking up there. That's my try. I'm practicing. Give me a break. I'll get better. Um, what we got down here. Let's see how I'm going to weld this one and go from there. for the welding helmet. Take the end bring the one from home all the time.
Well, it's not the prettiest, but should keep the water out. Um, and the reason for putting plugs in holes in Australia, so for some people overseas, it's okay to put doublers on, but in Australia, when it's in survey or as a work vessel, you're not allowed to put doublers on. So you're actually gonna cut the hole and plug it. So, which is what we've done. So, which at the end of the day is a better because you could end up with rust between the plates, bulging, all sorts of nasty shit happening. So, oh look, I missed a little bit there. I'll do that and then move on to the next one. I'm sure you don't want to watch me five hours of welding holes, how just interesting. Um, so I'll get off and get some more welding done. So I'll put plugs in, weld it up and then plug weld it all the holes. So keep that water tight. So now I've only got to, um, I'm gonna run an electrical conduit through this corner over here, close to this wall, because all the electrical's coming in this side from the wheelhouse. So I don't want to do it five times, 10 times, 20 times, 100 times. Conduit down that side, so I'll cut a hole, drill a hole, pilot a hole, then I'll plasma cut a hole. Then we'll have a conduit with T-junctions either side for bilge pumps into that other lazarette. And into the back tank we'll have bilge pump and fresh water pumps. A fresh water pump as well down the back. Um, and maybe in the middle one, maybe um, a heavy 12 volt supply as well, just to, um, just in case want some extra power for something. At least it's there. It's only a matter of we're gonna have a cable later on. It's, it's there. Um, so, yeah, and I'll get rid of the rest of this crap today, hopefully, maybe. It's pretty warm down here at the moment. It's 30 degrees outside, so. Yeah, and I'll probably, there's the holes on the outside thing we talked about last week. I'll probably um, use one for bilge pump, possibly, or one for, one for the engine water, and one for something else. We'll work it out. Maybe just a pissophone. So seeing as the engine room's getting a tidy up and everything, so I'm going to tidy all the wiring up going down to the engine. It's pretty messy under the dashboard, as you can see. I did fix some of it not long ago for all the roof lights, which is sort of just all there and a batch comes through, so I'll keep that, but everything down to the engine room will fix up. Um, I don't want an amp meter, I just want a volt meter, gearbox temperature, engine oil temperature, engine temperature, oil pressure, and an alarm for all of for those two. So then, and then my bilge alarms, which I've got to have and then all my bilge wiring, which will go down, and fresh water pumps. So we'll try and keep it as simple and as tidy as possible. But it's a mess. Anyway, it's all good. We'll make it, we'll make it pretty again. And I'll make a nice new board. This board's a bit archaic. I might leave the board there, but take all the archaic pieces off it. I'm not sure how easy it is to get into the bottom of the nuts and bolts at the bottom. We'll have a look. We'll sort him. What a mess, Mr. Hart. This is power boards, which is 12 volts and so and all the funny things. So we've got to run the radio. So and the stereo, of course, so we've got to run power for that. So we we'll, might make a nice boxed up dashboard on this side. Use some of the old timber planks off the back of the boat. But what a glorious day.
so as, as you can see, the smoke, and now it's not from anything that I shouldn't be smoking. No, I don't smoke. Go that shit up. So, well, that one in the back. So this is the middle. Little sort of lazarette. It's pretty big, actually. It's a lot bigger than the one in Renko. Uh, mine's bigger than yours, too. Uh -huh. um, so, you wanted up all that wall there on the other side. So, it's all plugged up. I'll cut all these bolts out of this um, stern tube, too. It goes through to the front of the engine room so we can get that out, clean all that up, and fix that up. But yeah, there'll be a plan to put some work out, some bracketry to put shelves, um, hang chain blocks, slings, sling baskets for different things. Um, so all the gear will be sort of laid out nice and neat um, and not floating around chain blocks. A few chain blocks that go in, so yeah. This will all be a nice grey and it'll have lights in here too, so I can see. Um, yeah, try to make the boat as practical and try to do everything once, do it once, do it right. So, yeah, we've got a bit of smoke here happening down here. What's going on? Yeah, that's going on down here. Hmm? Oh, look at that, Siri. The fluff. bit of fluff that catches fire. Smoke and fluff. So this is uh, inside the fuel tank at the uh, after the engine, or the after the boat, I should say. I'd say they've had thump oil or some horrid mess in here because there's all this black blur. So, but we'll clean it out. It has been painted before, so it looks like it's stuck well, so there's a good primer in here. So we'll clean all that up. And gurney in here, make him all pretty, and then we'll paint him out with some good paint for water tanks. And this is just going to be a water tank. So, same with the one on the opposite side. Both water tanks give me back my ballast at the back, and I can wash down, and I can do that to my face. Um, with the grease, um, and I can give me back my ballast and lots for washing down stuff that I bring it up with covered in salty water or anything I need to wash off the wash the boat down. Just fresh water is better than wash to wash the image in salt in my books. I'm not saying it isn't, I'm not saying it's not, I'm not perfect, I don't know everything. So yeah. Yummy. So we got inside the tank. Give him a bit of a scrub dub dub. It's looking not too bad now. A bit dirty water still. But 99% of the oily stuff is gone. A little bit still left here on the edges where we've been scooping it out. But yeah, and then I've got into this tank as well. I'll give him a good blasting. Um, found some holes in just there, dude. Just to the above that plate, pin hole. There's a little bit of scaly rust up the top, which I need to chip out, and then um, we'll seal that back up. But um, this patch here, yeah, there we go, little patch on. There it goes down there. There's the holes there. There's the holes there. You can see. And this is where they're welded on. But they never welded the inside, they've just welded the outside. And it's actually quite a bulbous weld. It actually hasn't penetrated very well. And there's very minimal um, penetration. So I'll probably grind all this out. And grind the weld out, redo the weld. There's plenty of material left. It's just all in weld. And the holes are in the weld. Slag. So. No other dramas there. I'll probably I'll plug weld that one. I'm back and take and weld all this up. But um, other than that, it's another day of just cleaning holes, and I'm sure no one wants to see the hours of videos of me inside, inside there. I did fit in there. 
but yeah. Um, also got all the wheelhouse stripped as well, so not much wiring left. And the wheelhouse. view the winds come up so I was going to do some welding on the back deck there's a couple of little spots that just in a hole a bit of a crack divot there so I was just going to weld them up but the winds did come up too much for the meek so next week a little old trawler had a garden I'm sitting it back into it yesterday they haven't finished fitting it out but got the engine in there to start I guess So, pretty much dash gone, instruments, wiring, any bit of wiring left is up to the roof. Um, the leaking window over here, which we knew about, so that's, I think also some leakage somewhere else along the front. So, we're going to remove all of that and um, find out where all the water's coming from. Um, and then seal it up. Hopefully use some of the planks that were on the back of the boat along the side of the railings there to um, put around the edge inside the wheelhouse. Um, I'll probably chop this board back and we'll make it something a bit better. But, <sighs> mm. oh, what a mess, Mr. Hart. And we'll line the roof. So I'll put a tip of beam probably, say, somewhere here, line the roof, leave an inspection hatch probably over here, or one in the middle, down the middle of the roof. So at least we can get to any of the wiring if we need to. Um, so I'm going to change a couple of things there. I'll just, I'll probably just solder all them up so they won't join, so there's no bad joins can never happen um, and then yeah really shouldn't need to put any more wires to the roof there'll be wires at the back to some work lights um, but yeah so I'll put a shelf across the back here as well just to put things on and just probably try and insulate the walls a bit it does get pretty warm in here it's only, it's only thin fiberglass like it's only so on a hot day it does get warm um, have thought about air conditioning, don't worry, but I'm just gonna be old school and cool. No air con. Done. All the pig bits gone. All the pig bits taken away from the mud. No good. More work, more work. Any good carpenters wanna come and make a nice that wheelhouse, please, please, please? I'll pay you, I don't gonna do GoFundMe's. That's not cool. Alright, next job.